This disabled woman was found lying on the floor, feet away from the rotting bodies of her children. I have gone without eating or drinking for seven days. I can barely speak. This man says his family was sitting outside their home when an airstrike hit. My brother Mohammed was hit in the leg. He was losing a lot of blood, so we took him inside the house. My sister was hit in the stomach and started bleeding. She stayed alive for six days, and then she died. 30 to 50,000 people are believed to be trapped inside Raqqa. The UN Refugee Agency says not only are they being denied a safe passage to escape, they're being targeted as they attempt to flee, a violation of international law. The U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces, or SDF, has made significant gains since it began its Raqqa offensive more than a month ago. The SDF has surrounded the city, breached an ancient wall, and is pushing closer to the center. There could be as many as a few thousand ISIL fighters still there. ISIL fighters are doing two things. They are sending booby traps cars toward our positions. And as they fall back, they are disseminating mines. A U.S. military spokesman says ISIL is demoralized. Its leaders abandoned Raqqa long ago. And its oil revenue has plummeted as the group has lost territory. But with the fall of Mosul in Iraq, a former ISIL stronghold, Raqqa has become a kind of last stand. ISIL has shown no mercy when it comes to civilians. The UN says at least 173 people died in June. Even after members of the SDF promised this mother she was now safe, she was reluctant to leave. What will we do with their bodies, those who died? What will we do about them? I don't know what's happening. I just lost my mind. Like so many Syrians, she has no choice but to leave her dead loved ones behind without being able to give them a proper burial. Natasha Ghanem, Al Jazeera, Gaziantep, Turkey. Thousands of people still trapped in Syria's Raqqa. Fatalities reported among warring Kurdish-led group and ISIL fighters as heavy bombardment shakes old city of Raqqa. Heavy bombardment and fierce fighting continue to shake the Syrian city of Raqqa. As the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. ISIL, also known as ISIS group defend their stronghold from advancing as backed forces. The Britain-based Syrian Observatory Observatory for Human Rights also reported progress in the old city's southwestern neighborhood, adding that an estimated 35% of Raqqa is now under SDF control. The intensification of fighting comes a week after Iraqi forces declared victory against Rasil in the Iraqi city of Mosul, the largest stronghold the fighters have held. The loss of Raqqa would deal a major blow to Asil, but the group still holds wide areas of the eastern Syrian province of Deir ez bordering Iraq. The Kurdish-run Hawa news agency said some 180 civilians were able to flee areas controlled by Asil, while the observatory put the number in the hundreds. Observatory director Rami Abdul Rahman said a steady stream of civilians was fleeing Asil held.